so the first thing to do here is probably to start with some some basic fire education on what fire actually is. Uh, it's fast healthcare interoperability resources. Um, but someone as uh, I've worked in like healthcare interoperability and quality reporting for like 17 years um, before joining Firely. Um, and so I have a lot of experience in this domain and really it could be also for uh, quality reporting too, because really interoperability and quality reporting kind of use uh, many of the same comments uh, or content and nomenclature to make it happen. Um, so the basics of FHIR is it's uh, built by resources. So a resource is just like a modular unit of health data. Uh, that would be like your administrative resources, which is like a patient, uh, what location they're in, the practitioner that's taking care of them, could be clinical content too, like the procedures that have been performed on them, what conditions and allergies a patient have, uh, medications could be a resource type as well. So as you can see, like there's these different resources that make up um, uh, what a patient is, how they're taken care of. Uh, and we all call that kind of part of a patient compartment. Uh, and for the HEDIS side, we probably have the explanation of benefits and claims a lot that apply. And a lot of that works into quality reporting. Um, so these resources are structured in a JSON format. Um, so in, they could be XML or Turtle. I've never personally used Turtle myself. It's usually in JSON uh, and they're hosted on usually on a fire server. Uh, then the next thing that kind of makes up fire is profiles. So profiles are kind of conformance resources that force those resources uh, to conform to a certain uh, set of data. So there's certain values that have to be on a resource like the patient's name, gender, uh, birth date and stuff might be required. And the way profiles work is you can actually stack them on top of each other. So there might be like the base patient profile, but like in the US market, we have US core patient profile. Uh, and those stacked profiles can either extend what data would be required within the resource uh, or restrict it even further. So maybe that the base profile allows for any SNOMED to be used, but then the US core profile says only these 10 SNOMEDs can be used or something like that. And you can keep stacking them for different use cases uh, and implementation guides. And an implementation guide just tells you like what resources uh, are required um, to for a certain use case in general, and then also what operations the fire server can perform on those resources. Uh, and then the last thing, the building block uh, that's probably most important to quality reporting and interoperability is terminology. And this is where you restrict the data to certain value sets, coding systems uh, that each, uh, for interoperability, each side can understand uh, uh, what diagnosis code was used, what uh, lab test was performed, uh, and same thing for quality reporting. Like if we want to make sure that a patient over 50 had gotten a col colonoscopy, uh, we need to have the same terminology and coding sets behind that. So that's uh, could be the entire coding system, could be a small value set uh, or a subset uh, of anything. And those are kind of like the building blocks of, uh, of what a fire resource is.